To create the intro, I drew a book flying across the screen and a page falling out of it to reveal letters that were drew on every slide. I did this all with the pen tool. I then used the eraser tool to create a fade effect by rubbing out small pieces at a time. I used the pen tool again to show the tutorial box which will guide the player on how to walk using WASD. On a separate layer I then created the portal using different colours of the pen tool. Then using the pen tool again, I redrew the main character walking towards the portal and copy and pasted him across the different frames. Every frame I moved him slightly further ahead to make it look like walking. Here I had accidentally deleted all the layers and had to redraw everything again from scratch. You can see that I made a new layer and drew a mouse on it, which every frame I moved slightly closer to the button and then shrank it to make it look like it was clicking and then added noise lines to create the illusion of a click. I then took the pen tool again and changed the colour to create a new opening animation. I did a variety of colours and then drew small details around it such as books and stars and rotated the image to create the effect that the portal was closing in on itself. When I was done with that, I was able to draw the main character falling through the portal. I drew him once and then copy and pasted his body falling slightly further down every frame. I then added in the drawing of bookcase that I had already done on a new layer and on another layer I drew the main character getting up from the ground to face bookcase. Then I went into the creative cloud and got the photo that I had drew of the main character and erased the outline of him. I then made the eraser tool bigger and erased the whole background so that I would be able to use it in my automatic. I saved the image as a PNG once I was done and added it into the automatic. I changed the size of the pen tool to be rather big and made the colour red to create a background for a frame which then I added in the two images of the characters on top of to create a dialogue scene. I then went over again with the pen tool on a new layer and added a gold frame to create a more picture like appearance. The frame that I drew was then copy and pasted for every frame on the dialogue. I then went and created the main character walking again in a new walk cycle and copy and pasted him in different places in the frames so that it created the illusion of him walking. I then added in a picture of the fairy that I had already drew and every frame changed her position to make it look like she was flying across and breaking a branch off the tree for the player to walk over and jump on top of. You couldn't see the character well in this scene so I erased some areas of the background. For the walking and the jumping I did the same thing of just drawing the character and then copy and pasting it in every frame. I then copy and pasted the portal from the portal layer and flipped it around so that it was on the other side of the page. I then renamed the background layer to backgrounds and added in the next photo that I had drew of the backgrounds and also added in the PNG of Blue Tang that we had drew earlier and created new dialogue. I 
created the dialog with the text option and shrank or stretched the text as needed. I then copy and pasted the portal and the walking cycle to create the walk loop. Then I added in the sensory room image that I had drew and added in the puzzle by sizing up the pen tool and adding every primary colour and then every secondary colour and matching them to each other. I then added in the walk cycle and copy and pasted it on the portal to the other side of the page. I then added in the troll's bedroom and added in the walk cycle and the portal and created the character crouching. For the end I added in the book room and just the character walking across along with another dialogue scene. Then on YouTube I recorded copyright free sound to play in the video.